So here, Judge O'Connor is touching on how braced pistols are in common use for lawful purposes, and therefore the ATF and their restrictions on these types of braced uh, pistols and these types of firearms um, is a restriction on arms and conduct that is protected by the Second Amendment. He goes on to state in the decision that the court finds that the braced pistols subject to enforcement of the final rule are in common use to date. For starters, it is undisputed that pistols such as those in the FBC member's possession are on their own and without stabilizing braces already deemed to be among the weapons most commonly used today for lawful self-defense. A stabilizing brace does not somehow alter that status and effectively strip the pistols of their Second Amendment protection. The government defendant's assertion to the contrary that pistols do become dangerous and unusual as soon as stabilizing braces are attached to them does not survive its own administrative record. Now, here in this section, Judge O'Connor destroys the ATF's argument that braced pistols are not in common use for lawful purposes, and he just rejects their argument that these uh, type of braced pistols, the second you put a brace on it, all of a sudden makes it an SBR, and it's a dangerous and unusual item that can have restrictions on it. 